The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may share with the heart and with humility. I may share in the Holy Spirit. That people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, I pray this prayer every time I preach. Because I know if there is no Holy Spirit, we speak shallow, vain, empty. It's all about us. It's the power of the Holy Spirit in the end that's important. We're just instruments. Anyway, happy birthday. Today is the birthday of Mother Church. Happy birthday to you. O Bishop, magpapansit naman kayo. Father, papansit naman kayo. Hello, the church is not the bishop, the priest. It's you and me. So, happy birthday to us. Ang hirap maging happy, no? Ang hirap pasayahin mga tao. We have to remind ourselves again and again that life is short. Be happy. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit. Joy. Um, it's a little story I'd like to share with you about this man who had no job, walang trabaho, hirap ng buhay niya. Finally, he was hired. Wow. He became, uh, they asked him to put on a costume ng gorilla. <laughs> Dilagyan siya, acting gorilla sa sa circus. You know, no, tumbling, tumbling siya. Ang daming pumapalagpak na mga tao. Of course, he was so hirap na hirap sa buhay niya. Finally, sa kapabayaan niya, minsan isang araw, he fell on the cage of the lion. And he started to shout, Oh, please get me out of here. Si Gawasin siyang tigaw. Get me out! Get me out! Lumapit yung lion and said, Hey, shut up! Pag hindi ka tumahimik, mawawalan tayong dalawa ng trabaho. <laughs> so this was another guy with a costume. At siguro yun po ang problema. Many of us, the real us is covered. Marami kasi tayong costume, maskara. What does the Holy Spirit remind us. You are good. You don't have to be somebody else. If only you know the gifts that you have. Ito po siguro ang wish ko for all of us. May we rediscover the Holy Spirit. Ang problema marami sa atin, you know why your life is our life parang mabigat, panay mga issue, mga we're not moving really. I, I had an experience. I'm sure you have experienced this, mga drivers. There I was, stepping on, on, on the accelerator, all these things. Pero parang laboured, laboured ang andar ng sasakyan. The handbrake was on. Naku, naka-handbrake pala. Tried as I might, it cannot take off. And that's 
the situation of many of us. Like a handbrake ka kasi. If only you release and let go, then power comes and you are free. In this Mass, we ask the Lord, Lord, you know me. You know what I'm going through. Help me to let go. Let your Holy Spirit take over. Aha, uh -huh, that's the other thing. Why are you not moving? Maybe you're relying on your own power. Parang it's all about you. Don't you know that our, our little efforts are little compared to what the Holy Spirit can do? So please, don't rely on your own power. If you want to share God's love, there's a greater power. You, you, you tap into that. There's an alternative source of power that's not you. And number two, siguro, change driver na. Lord, you drive. I'm just here. Marami ka sa atin, ikaw ang driver ng buhay mo. I am the captain of, of my soul. Parang that whole concept na, it's all about me. Hello? There's someone bigger than you and me. And that's the message of Pentecost. The disciples were afraid. They were so disheartened. They were so sad. And then here comes Jesus and tells them, Peace be with you. Wow. They were renewed. They were ready to go anywhere to die for the Lord. Because they finally found the source of real power is not themselves, but the Lord. Whatever you're going through right now, I don't know. We all experience difficult days. You're trying your best to overcome a bad habit, bumablik balik pa rin. You resolve, Lord, babago na po ako, ayan na naman. It's very discouraging. Or, you know, you get tired. Lahat. Some of us are sick. We cannot understand. So, if you focus on yourself, you're going down. The Lord reminds us today, Pentecost, focus on the Lord, not on the load. So, mga uh, kapatid, what is the most difficult thing that can happen many times? Ito mga techie. You forget the password, right? <laughs> or the pin. Ano ba yan? Yung mga ang hirap, pati nalang maleta kung misan, yung code, nakakalimutan. So what is it? The password. That once you get that, everything opens up. I think the password is chs.com Come, Holy Spirit. Once you have that a lot of things open up now. Try it. Anything bothering you right now? May away ba kayo? Why don't you stop and say, Come Holy Spirit. Something happens. Let's give the Holy Spirit a chance. That's what I'm saying. That's what I've experienced many times po sa buhay ko eh. Napakahirap po eh. Password, things open. You forget that, your whole life is a drag. Pare-pareho na, parang walang nangyayari. Give the Holy Spirit a chance. So, dalawa lang naman po yan eh. Ano pong kabaliktala ng Holy Spirit? The evil spirit. There's war going on. Saan ka pumapanig most of the time? If you go with the evil spirit, life is boring, life is filled with anger, hatred, but if you go to the Holy Spirit, something qualitatively new changes. Give the Holy Spirit a chance. That's what the Lord is reminding all of us today. Parang choice yan eh. Kwarta o kahon. Eh, kwarta na. <laughs> Kung panagi ganun ang choice mo, you have no surprises. Hindi mo kasi binubuksan yung pinagbibigyan yung kahon na ino-offer ng Panginoon. Give that kahon a chance. Eh, hindi sigurado yan, Father, eh. 
Bakit? Sigurado ka rin ba sa kwarta mo? So give the Lord a chance. Maybe that's what will make your life more exciting and meaningful. So check your life today. By the way, if you want to live in the Holy Spirit, number one, you have to accept first. Accept your situation. Lord, I have weaknesses. Lord, I, I am, I'm, I'm so, I'm suffering so much. Lord, etc. I have bad habits. Accept that and let the Lord tell you, peace be with you. Interesting what the Lord said in today's gospel. Whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Don't you know that also applies to you and to me? Because many of us have not forgiven our sins. Parang, we own it na talagang ganyan na ako eh. You're retaining your sins. And the Holy Spirit tells us, no. Forgive. Balik tarin po natin yung forgive. Give for. That's what it means. When you give for the Lord, this is my, my weakness, I offer it to you na, then something happens. And the other thing is, nothing happens to a heart that is not open. If you are so close with your mindset, your understanding, your wisdom, your opinion, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And dami po kasi It's all about me, my take, my view, my opinion. Hello, how about God's take, God's view, God's opinion? Let's open. Any dentist will tell you. Hey, mahirap ka usap, mahirap na dentist na. Any dentist will tell you, walang healing if you don't open your mouth. So what's the first thing that the doctor tells you? Open. Open. If you don't open, walang mangyayari. Same with the Holy Spirit. And it, all it takes is humility and say, Lord, I need you. Right now, may I ask you to just bow your head and whatever it is that you're going through, give the Holy Spirit a chance and in humility say, Come, Holy Spirit. I need you. I really need you. Come, Holy Spirit, I pray. Come with your strength and your power. I can't do it alone. And come in your own special way. Come like a spring in the desert. Lord, the, the well is getting dry. Come to the weary of soul, getting tired of myself, of people, of situation. Touch me and make me whole. Amen. Amen. Be led by the Spirit. Herbatid, check tayo. How do you know that you're living in the Spirit? Symptoms. Ano ang symptoms ng COVID-19? Nakalimutan nyo na, no? Last year lang yun. Alam natin mga symptoms. Parang now. But what are the symptoms that you are living or you are not living in the Spirit? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22-23. What are the fruits of the Spirit? Make a check now. The first fruit of the Spirit, the proof that you are living in the Spirit is love. Are you a loving person? Do you focus more on God and other people and less on yourself? If you can say that, yeah, I'm living in the Spirit. Inversely, if you hate people, you hurt people, you're selfish, you're living not in the Holy Spirit. You're listening to the evil spirit. Number two, check. Joy. Is there joy in your life? Do you believe in spreading joy? Or you're so focused on yourself and you really don't care about what others feel because it's just about you. The greatest thing, the only thing we all can do is just to smile at people. And it's free. A little smile can make a big difference. So, 
spread joy. You don't have to go to a lot of places, go to foreign lands, etc. But if you're not spreading joy right now, what are you spreading? The evil one wants us to be unhappy. The evil one wants us to be sad. And there is joy if you're close to God and if you're humble to people. You experience joy. Number three symptom, peace. Ano nga sayo? Are you at peace? Peace is harmony, your focus on the common good, and you're a peacemaker. If that's your orientation, you're living in the spirit. Ang hirap po maging peacemaker. Napakadali mang gulo, mang, mang isnab na lang. Ang hirap po. But it's one of those things that the Lord said in the Beatitudes. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will see the face of God. Check. Number four. Ito, marami sa atin. Patience. Eh, ang hirap naman. To be composed amidst sufferings, delays, imperfections around you. Pasensya. That's a fruit of the Spirit. If you're not patient, you are impatient. <laughs> and you can explain, you can all tell anything about you, whatever you like. You can make all reasons why you are impatient. No, still you follow the Holy Spirit. Number five, check your life. Kindness. Are you kind to people? Do you have caring, warm, friendly thoughts, words, and deeds? Sana po lahat tayo, we specialize in kindness. My God, that's the best word, the best way to spread God's love. To be kind. Please be kind. So many people need to be understood. Just to feel some kindness. Ang galing natin sa mga aso, no? Ay, ang, uh, sa aso ginagal. Mga ibang tao, wala. Inisnab lang natin. Buti pa yung aso napapansin. Mga iba, wala. Hindi natin sila pinapansin. Oh, number six, Generosity. On three counts, generosity in time, your talents, your treasures. May the Holy Spirit make us more generous. You know, the, the call of the flesh, the call of the evil spirit is to be selfish. Lugi ka. Huwag kang magpapalugi sa mundong ito. <laughs> the Holy Spirit says, you share. Wow. Out of this world. And then the one, number seven, is faithfulness, which is basically obedience to God, faithfulness, loyalty to people, loyalty to our commitments, our promises, faithfulness to our word. Yeah. And number eight, this comes out again, gentleness. Gentleness in thoughts, in words, and indeed, these are the fruits, symptoms that we are living in the Holy Spirit. And number nine, self-control. That is, discipline that we are not mastered by our desire, our temptations to be selfish, to be greedy, and to be proud. So these are the fruits of the Spirit. All of us fail. All of us need to mag-increase pa rin. So, maya pa, and yet, we say, Lord, we don't lose hope. Please keep trying, mga kapatid. Sana maging fruitful tayo. And finally, please remember this. You have a choice, really. Maybe that's what the Lord would like to tell all of us. It's your choice. You want to live a life that's miserable, that's unhappy. It's your choice. You want to live a life that is free, that's filled with meaning, peace, and joy? You have a choice. Choose the Holy Spirit. Password, chs.com. Come, Holy Spirit, now. 
So dear friends, may I just invite you again, now na. Just so open your heart to the Lord. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Right now, is there any problem that's bothering you? Come Holy Spirit. Please, enlighten me. Is there any quarrel that's hurting your your life, your family, your relationship? Come, Holy Spirit, heal us. Do you need physical healing? The greatest healer, come, Holy Spirit. Emotional healing. Marami sa atin going through depression, so much anger, resentments, hatred. Come, heal us. Healing of relationships. Oh God, sana po, we, we let go of hurts. We focus on building up love again and again and again. Spiritual healing. Our sinfulness, oh God. Especially our pride. The times we, we disobey you. Bad habits we have. Cleanse us. Bad relationships. Cleanse us. O oh, Holy Spirit. Bad attitudes. And our fears and anxieties. Come, Holy Spirit. Give us courage. Come, Holy Spirit. Many of us have no direction or are lost. Guide us, O Holy Spirit, from sorrow and depressions. Give us the joy of the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. And bless this world, this country. Let's start in the heart and let this overflow to our country, to the whole world. It all starts in a simple heart that is open to the Holy Spirit. Then we know what happy birthday Mother Church is all about. Happy birthday. We are the church. We are the agents of the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. One more note. You know, Pentecost happened. Who were there? The disciples. And there was one more. Mama Mary was there. In fact, she was the one who rallied the disciples after Jesus died. Nagtago na lahat mga disciples. Mary told them, come back, come back. Don't forget what my son told you. May we honor Mama Mary. She is the super glue who brought, who continues to bring us on. Pick up line. Glue ka ba? Kasi you make us stick to each other. May I honor People who are who try to bring people together. Remember our, our mothers, our, our loved ones. Sabi nila, no, you come together, okay, magaway away. And there are many of us who continue that. Please continue that because that's one of the fruits of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday to us. Amen.